Hey, what's up guys? It's Durf and welcome to your first double dose of Durf. All right, I've got a Ixalan pre-release pack that I played at our pre-release. And so I'm going to open this up, show you guys what I got, uh, show you what I built, and just kind of talk about that for a minute. So I got a red die, yeah, the little rivals thing there. I got a Warkite Marauder, Marauder. that guy, um, I actually didn't look at it too closely. And yeah, I just didn't play blue. Whoops, <clears throat> probably a mistake. That, that guy's really good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's like every time he attacks. I'm like, oh crap, I guess I read him wrong. Because I thought it was like when it enters the battlefield. Which would be good as it is, but every time he attacks. <laughs> oh goodness, whoops. Anyways, that's alright. I always seem to mess things up. Alright, so we got the little uh, Immortal Sun divider thingy. The little pamphlet. So what do we got here? Four great nations battle for dominion over the golden city. The victor shall claim the immortal sun and with it the power to shake worlds. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, yep, there it is. There's all stuff for, yeah, building a deck in sealed. All right, so we'll put that over the side. All right, so I'm going to go through uh, white, blue, black, red, green, uh, multicolored artifacts and lands that I got. <clears throat> All right, so that are other than basic lands. So start out with white. I will go through the creatures first. So I got two Legion Conquistadors. One that was is extremely misprinted. It's like the ink didn't dry or something. It's just like all smudged or something. So two of those guys. Forerunner of the Legion. I got a. <clears throat> Uh, let's see if I can do it this way. So, Sun Sentinel. Got a Raptor Companion. Got a Pterodon Knight. Snubhorn Sentry. Imperial Ceratops. Temple Altasaur. That guy's pretty sweet. Uh, with the spells in white, I got Demystify. Another Demystify. Queen's Commission. Sheltering Light. Two sheltering lights. Into the blue, I got a Soul of the Rapids, Siren Reaver, Sailor of Means, Sworn Guardian, Secrets of the Golden City. Okay, that, so that's that's all I had for blue creatures, just a couple. So into the uh, the spells, Secrets of the Golden City, Sea Legs, Depths of Desire, Favorable Winds, Opt. Negate, Water Knot, Flood of Recollection, Curious Obsession, another Sea Legs. All right, into black, I got Grasping Scoundrel, Dinosaur Hunter. That one's actually really good. And I screwed up an attack with <laughs> my opponent, had one of those. Whoops. <laughs> Fathom Fleet Border, Oaf Sworn Vampire, Queen's Bay Soldier. Sky March Blood Letter times two. Dust Legion Zealot. Seeker Squire. Canal Monitor. Uh, Mausoleum Harpy. Blight Keeper. And that's it for the black spells. And then I got a Mark of the Vampire. That was it for the creatures. Here's the spell. Skull Duggery. Recover. Gruesome Fate. Impale, Dark Inquiry, another Impale, Golden Demise, and Dead Man's Chest. So that one's that one's pretty neat too. Chant creature an opponent controls when enchanted creature dies. Exile cards equal to the power equal to its power from the top of your opponent's of its opponent's so of its owner's library. You may cast non land cards from among them for as long as they remain exiled. And you may pay, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. So pretty sweet, um, pretty sweet stuff. But uh, as you'll see, I went with uh, <laughs> went with dinosaurs. All right, um, Araska Raptor, Goblin Trailblazer, Stampeding Horncrest, 
Frenzy Raptor, Sun Collared Raptor, Forerunner of the Empire. Any of these search guys are just awesome. Uh, starting off the spells, you have Demolish times two, Tillanali's Crown, Sure Strike, Buccaneer's Bravado. All right, so that's it for red. All right, for our green creatures, I got Tender Shoot Dryad, Hardy Veteran, Swift Warden times two, and Deep Root Champion. Then into the dinosaurs, I got Araska Frillback, Grazing Whiptail times two. Uh, Cacophodon, Overgrown Armosaur. I got an Ixalani's, or Ixali's Diviner. And then into the green spells, Aggressive Urge, Enter the Unknown, Naturalize, River Herald's Boon, Path of Discovery, fantastic card. Everything, when creatures come into play under your control, they explore. Uh, naturalize. All right, into the multicolor, we have Shapers of the Shapers of Nature, Dead Eye Plunderers, and then into the uh, artifacts we have Araska Relic times two, a Strider Harness, and then into the lands we have Evolving Wilds and a Rootbang Crag. So those were my pulls out of um, out of the pre-release pack. So, um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to transition. I already did the, <laughs> the deck tech video. So, here we go. I'm going to go... All right, guys. So, let's break down what I did in my pre-release. So, I went with white, red, green dinosaurs and stuff to support dinosaurs. So, my Temple Altasar rare. I thought that was pretty cool. So if a source would deal damage to another dinosaur you control, prevent all but one of that damage. Uh, so I thought that was pretty good. Uh, just, you know, it helps with enrage, so it only does one. You know, one damage will be enough to enrage them and, um, you know, get some added bonuses. Uh, but it costs one white, four colorless, it's three, four. Uh, good thing to point out, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work for itself. Um, I don't think some of my opponents realize that so um you know it it uh, it kind of it got you know it got through sometimes uh <laughs> when it probably shouldn't have but again i didn't do so great <laughs> i went uh two two and three so yeah i didn't do so great in the pre-release i just got i just kept getting beat by <clears throat> i mean really better cards and better board state so uh, it is what it is. Uh, Imperial Ceratops, uh, Enrage. Uh, whenever Imperial Ceratops is dealt damage, you gain two life, so that's definitely helpful. One white, four colorless for three, five. Um, Snubhorn Sentry has a send, and it gets plus three, plus oh, uh, as long as you have Sissy Blessing. So it's a one white and for a zero, three. I had the Pterodon Knight, everyone's favorite from Ixalan. Uh, Pterodon Knight has flying as long as you control Dinosaur, so good in a Dinosaur deck for uh, one white and three colorless, it's three, three. Flyer, if you have a dino. Uh, Raptor Companion, this one is from the Rivals. All right, three, one, four, two. Uh, then I put in, I had just, you know, filling out the, uh, filling out my creatures, just had a couple, couple off, you know, off dinosaur picks because I didn't have enough dinosaurs to actually go for 17 creatures. But uh, <clears throat> to fill the 17, I uh, put in Sun Sentinel, thought he was pretty good. Or she was pretty good. Uh, one white, one colorless for Vigilance 2-2. Two, two. All right, uh, into the red. Uh, so I got a Forerunner of the Empire. Thought that was pretty good for a red and three colorless. You get to search for a dinosaur, put it, shuffle your library and put it on top of it. And then whenever a dinosaur enters the battlefield under your control, you maybe have four, uh, Forerunner of the Empire deal one damage to each creature. So uh, definitely good with um, you know triggering Enrage for the stuff that you have. Sun Collar Raptor, a red, a colorless. It's a 1 2 trample, and you can pump it for one red and two colorless, and it gets plus three plus seven to one to turn. So that's good. Late game, because you can swing and just you know beat through. Frenzy Raptor, a red, two colorless. It's a 4 2. <clears throat> uh, Stampeding Horncrest for five. It's uh, a 4 4 that has haste as long as you control another dinosaur. And again, uh, just to have creatures. Uh, Goblin Trailblazer, this one has menace. For a red and one, and it's a two-one. 
All right, so in the uh, in the green, I've got Ixalan's Diviner helps you um, ramp a little bit. Uh, you can you know when you explore when it comes into play. Uh, Overgrown Armasaur, two green, three colorless for a four four. Enraged, uh, it puts a one one green Saprolin creature token into play. Didn't really use that one too much. Uh, Cacophodon, uh, used this guy quite a bit. Uh, he came in. A lot, of, a lot of times, so one green, three colorless, two five, and enrage, untapped target permanent. Uh, Grazing Whiptail had two of those. Uh, they're three four reach. They're pretty good. And then for the last of the creatures, I had Araska Frillback, which is just the um, red or the green version of the Frenzied Raptor. So both dinosaurs four two, and they cost three. All right. So that's my creatures. Uh, you know, I had, uh, you know, one rare there, so not really that great. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it was the best tribal that I had. Uh, put in two sheltering lights for, um, you know, to help my dinos not die, and it lets you scry. So I uh, try to, you know, ramp in, or, you know, get a good spell coming up. Uh, Buccaneer's Bravado. I've got a couple of pirates in the deck, so they can gain double strike, plus one, plus one, and even the dinosaurs can get plus one, plus one, and gain first strike. So it helps... You know, some combat tricks. Sure Strike, plus three, plus zero, gains first strike. So, more combat tricks. Uh, this one was pretty sweet. Path of Discovery um, was, you know, one of my one of my uh, things I wanted to build the deck around was just creatures coming into play. You get to explore. So, a lot of times, uh, if I had a land coming up, it it really helped a lot. It, it basically saved me a turn of drawing into nothing. So, when you reveal the land... You put it into your hand, so you know you're able to get it out of the way. So that was really good. And then I had uh, for artifact, I had uh, Strider Harness, uh, cost three, but you can quit for one. It gets plus one, plus one in haste. So that, you know it's helpful in some situations. I don't know, not really the best, but uh, still, just wanted to. You know, that's what I tried out um, <clears throat> for my land base, and I, I did go 40 cards. So I got five planes, uh, four mountains. I've got six. Two, four, six forests, and evolving wilds, which was helpful, and I got a rootbound crag, so uh, that was nice. That definitely helped. Um, you know, when I only drew like a plains, you know, if I if I needed one or the other of the red or the green, uh, evolving wilds and rootbound crag were really good. But evolving wilds is terrific. You know, just goes gets you what you need. So that's what I built. Um, the only sideboard item I really used was naturalize. Uh, I got two of them. So ended up uh, just putting in one, and you know it help every once in a while, but you know definitely a sideboard sideboard card because not everybody's running enchantments. So uh, yep, that's what I have, guys. So uh, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you liked um, you know what I played. I mean I didn't do too great, so I mean I think a lot of it either uh, just uh, you know misplays or just getting paired up against stuff. I mean the uh, what's it? I, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's the the two black four colorless uh you can put a prey counter on it for uh if you reveal it for one black i mean that that guy's just a stinking board wipe i mean he he i i had to go up against him like three well i think two times and it just it just wrecks it just wrecks the board so that guy's very tough to go up against uh two of my opponents had that um you know just any kind of removal like if you get a good amount of removal in the in the sealed tournaments um you know that that really helps out too so you know just uh whatever you win some you lose some uh i had fun so a little more fun in this one than i did in the unstable draft uh where i messed up everything but uh anyways guys appreciate you checking out this double dose of derf and i will see you guys next time bye bye haha -ha, you thought i was gone ha ah, guess what i can't end the video without opening something I didn't win any packs from my pre-release, so I was at Walmart picking up some stuff to ship out uh, some eBay merchandise, and they had one Chaos Six Pack, so I thought I'd get that, and we'd open it up here on the channel as a consolation prize for me totally sucking at the pre-release this time. If you remember, last time I won our pre-release, and uh, it came home with like 20 packs <laughs> of... Pixelon. So that was pretty sweet, uh, but this is going to have to do to uh, 
supplement that. So here we go with another Chaos Six Pack. I will give my uh, same thing as I usually do. I will give my uh, pick for the best common, uncommon, and rare. And you guys can uh, agree with me or disagree with me in the comment section below. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, it's Thalia's Lancers. Oh my gosh. Who's surprised? Not me. All right, we've got a Theros. We've got Gatecrash. We have a Fate Reforged. I don't know if I got one of those. Oh, look at that. Shadows of Innistrad. We have a Kaladesh. And a Battle for Zendikar. All right, that's a different different group there. I think each other time I've gotten a Cons of Tarkir. So, uh, let's start off with old Innie. Innie Strad. Let's see what we get here. Alright. So, starting off, we've got a Deny Existence. Storm Rider Spirit. Pieces of the Puzzle. Loam Dryad. Strength of Arms. Again, man, if you guys saw my Daily Dose of Durf with, uh, when I was opening these before, just I think the artwork on that is just awesome. You got uh, Thalia. Uh, looks like Thalia's uh, artwork there. Vampire Noble. Look at that. She's sitting on throne like, uh, like Liliana. Howl Pack Wolf. Fork in the Road. Throttle. First uncommon is Toppelgeist. <laughs> All right, this one might already be the winner because the ghost is just like, hey, hey, I'm knocking stuff over. All right, we have a Olivia's Bloodsworn, a Murderer's Axe, and the rare Angel of Deliverance. Cool. That one looks sweet. All right, and then we have a Hermit of the Natternoles. So that will go over here. This Swamp and a Zombie Token. Alright, those can go up there. Alright, let's go with Fate Reforged. Alright, Ugin. Can we get a Ugin? That would be sweet. Pretty, I think you can get... I'm trying to remember. I think you can get... You can get... Um, <clears throat> some Shocklands in here, I think. Or not Shocklands. The uh, Fetchlands. Pressure Point. Whisk Away. Sultai Emissary. Jeskai Runemark. That's just a cool picture, too. Man, a bunch of cool art. I might pick it just based on art. That's freaking cool. I might pick that one. Uh, Sandblast. Collateral damage. That's the... Uh, <laughs> is that the gar Goblin Char... No. Um, it looks like the uh, Fire Shrieker from... Yeah, it looks like a Fire Shrieker backfiring. That's crazy. Fire Shrieker that gives uh, double strike. Maybe. Uh, Tamir Runemark. Right into being. Bathe in Dragonfire. That guy's like, no, I don't want to take a bath. Map the Wastes. First Uncommon. Battlefront. Uh, crew Shock. Sure. Meringue River Prowler. And a Misfire Adept. And the rare is... Oh, nice! That isn't bad. Soulfire Grandmaster. That's pretty sweet. Got a Mythic. Awesome. I'll have to look that one up. because up oh, and we got a Blossoming Sands. I, I think that's the spot right there that you can get. You could actually get a uh, Fetch Land. Wow, okay. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good pull right there. All right. Gate Crash. It's not crash and burn in this one. I'm trying to think what what the good stuff is out of this. <laughs> you can get a you can get a, a shock land out of these. Spire oh spire treasure was freaking fantastic. Used to play that one. Um, Shadow slice. War mind infantry. Wojak halberd ears. Mugging. Oh yeah, guys just like guys just like grappling his freaking head sky games corpse blockade burst of strength prophetic prism orshav guildgate first uncommon is a gore clan rampager sapphire drake cinder elemental and the rare 
is signal the clans. Search the library for three creature cards and reveal them. If you reveal three cards with different names, choose one of them. Random put that card into your hand. Shuffle the rest into your library. All right. Swamp and a horror token. All right. Theros, guys. <clears throat> what are we going to get? Thoughtseize? Can we get a Thoughtseize? Let's get a Thoughtseize. Loathsome. Uh... Catobal, Catobal Plus, Poss, I have no idea. Sorry guys, butchering that one. Nylea's Presence, Fleet Feather Sandals, Sedison Griffin, Discipline of, uh, is it Fenax? And I can't, I can't ever get these names right on this, this set. Seder Hedonist. Seder Rambler, Leonin Snarecaster, Feral Invocation, Fate Foretold, First Uncommon is a Battlewise Hoplite, Favored Hoplite, Coordinated Assault, and the Rare, oh, Perforos, God of the Forge, nice, okay, I'll take a God, not a problem, <laughs> Island, and a Soldier. Sweet. Sweet. We got a god. That's awesome. All right. I'm saving Kaladesh for last because I love Kaladesh. All right. Battle for Zendikar. Battle for Zen. How you been? All right. Here we go. We have a Colostria healer. Blisterpod. Stonehaven medic. Kozlix sentinel. Demon's Grasp. A little Obnixilis choking somebody out. <laughs> Skyline Cascade. Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Ruin Processor. Bone Splinters. First on comment is Grip of Desolation. Cryptic Cruiser. Sylvan Scrying. Always a good card. And the rare. March from the tomb. Yay. Oh, we got a foil and it's anticipate. That's not bad. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Foil anticipate. And a mountain and a dragon. Alright. Well, put that up there. Alright, guys, here is our last pack. Kaladesh. Kaladesh do. Alright. Thriving Ibex. Select for inspection. Cathartic reunion. Fragmentize. Malfus squad. A tune with ether. Accomplished automaton. Foundry's creature. Woodweaver's puzzle knot. Hunt the weak. First on common is ooh, might maybe maybe one two. I don't think we have a. I don't think we have a four. Uh, Iron League steed. Gear per guide. Quicksmith Genius and Syndicate Trafficker. Island and a Thopter. Alright. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> let's pick a common. What's our favorite common gonna be? I mean, two with ether is gonna is really, really good. Um, that one just might win out. Mostly because it <laughs> I don't know. It's rumored energy might get banned here, or some parts of the deck, so. That may I might pick that just as our last last chance before it gets banned. We will see. There's also uh, Spire Trace is really good too. Cause it's an elf. Yeah, that one was cool because it gets it's a cool artwork. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, really good artwork with that one. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be between those. So let's see. Let's go with. Um, all right. So I've already pointed out her art several times. I'm gonna go with Jeskai Rune Mark today. I mean, I think I've done it. Tune with either as my pick before. So uh, Rune Mark, Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature gets plus two plus two, and Enchant Creature has flying as long as you control a red or white permanent. So and plus. 
like the art looks just really cool. All right, so that's my pick for commons. Probably, I mean, there's a bunch of really good ones in there that we could have picked. All right, uncommon. Hmm, well, Sylvan Scrying is very good. You can get any land. Uh, 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 uh. Favorite's pretty good. Let's see. Uh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, that's right. Toppelgeist. Oh, man. All right. So, Toppelgeist, when Toppelgeist enters the battlefield, tap creature, target creature, and opponent controls. If you have Delirium, uh, da, 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 tap target creature that player controls. Oh, at the at the beginning, <laughs> at the beginning of each upkeep, each opponent's upkeep. If there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, tap target creature that player controls. So when it comes into play, and um, during each of your opponents, untap steps. So our upkeep, untap, then upkeep. You get to tap their stuff. That one's really good. Um, yeah, we're going with Toppelgeist. That's the winner for today, just because it's got funny artwork. Little ghost is like, not me knock over. All right, and for the rare, for the rare, what are we gonna do? We got so, we got a god. We got two mythics. That's pretty. That's pretty crazy. Don't usually get two mythics with this. Um, Let's see. So Soulfire Grandmaster. Let's check. Let's check out all the rares here. So Soulfire Grandmaster, one white, one colorless, for a creature, human monk, lifelink, instant sorcery spells you control have lifelink. Um, two, and then a red or a blue, or red or a blue. Next time you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand this turn, put that card into your hand instead of your gra into your graveyard as it resolves. So basically, you get your you're getting your spell back um, instead of actually casting it. Um, that's pretty sweet. And it's a 2 2. All right. Perforos, God of the Forge. One red, three colorless for a legendary enchantment creature, God. And it's 6 5, indestructible. As long as, you, as long as your devotion to red is less than 5, Perforos isn't a creature. So it turns into a creature once you have 5 or more red. Um, uh, another, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent, and for a color, two colorless and a red, creature control get plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn. So he is pretty good. All right, Syndicate Trafficker for black and a white, you get, or black and a colorless, you get a 3 1 Etherborn Rogue, and for one, sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one, plus one counter on Syndicate Trafficker, it gains indestructible until end of turn. That one's good too. March from the Tomb. All right, so return any number of target ally creature cards with total converted mana cost eight or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So that one's not not bad either. Excuse me, guys. Uh, signal clans, one green, one red. Search library for three creature cards. Reveal them. If you reveal three cards with different names, choose one of them at random and put that card into your hand. Shuffle the rest into your library. And then we finally have Angel of Deliverance for two white and six colorless you get a six six flying angel with delirium whenever an angel of deliverance deals damage if there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard exile target creature and opponent controls wow that one's pretty cool when it deals damage just deals damage not anything else wow that's pretty pretty freaking cool hmm oh it's pretty expensive eight eight's pretty ridiculous but two and four is not very ridiculous. Um, man, what to take, what to take. Let's do... Uh, man, let's go... Oh, man. I don't know. I like... <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with Perforos. God of the Forge. You are the winner today. Because you look sweet. You're busting out of a volcano. <laughs> so... There you go. Perforos is my pick for today. Let me know if you guys agree. And thanks for joining me for a very extended uh, double dose of Dura for our first one ever. So kind of a, a three-part video. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a good time at your pre-releases. Hope you did better than I did. And I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even share the channel with a friend or two. Appreciate it.
See you guys next time. Bye-bye.